If you are one of those taxpayers who does not want to spend $25 million to repair ATV trails, or $150 million for agricultural losses like damaged beehives, then you'll understand why no Republicans supported the stimulus in the House. Now this looks like a slush fund to me. Because and why most Republicans are trashing it in the Senate. This is about spending money we don't have for things we don't need. Despite the president's lobbying for bipartisan support, Republicans complain their ideas are being ignored. We have been shut out. And that the bill is too much goodie bag and not enough stimulus. $650 million to help people switch their old TVs to digital. And $335 million to prevent sexually transmitted disease. Without objection, a motion to... A program that Democrats defend because disease education creates jobs too. And we have jobs across the board, not just for construction workers. But the Republicans' biggest concern is that the supposedly temporary stimulus creates some $200 billion worth of permanent spending. This is your won't go away list? Yeah. This is Congressman Eric Cantor says around one fourth of the stimulus spending will never go away. $15 billion for Pell Grants to help students afford college, or $13 billion for special education. Maybe it's all worthwhile, Cantor says. It's just not temporary. How much of that do you see being rolled back two years from now? Well, that's the problem. Every time a new program starts in Washington, very, very difficult to stop it. And remember, this is an emergency bill the economy needs right now. What we can't do is drag our feet or delay much longer. But emergency bills are not paid for with higher taxes or budget cuts. The stimulus is all borrowed money. And so anything Congress couldn't afford before, $50 million to support the arts, or $70 million to help people stop smoking, has found its way into the stimulus now. When you say to the members of Congress, this has to get done and it has to get done quickly, it's unfortunately an opportunity for a lot of things to get slipped in. Next week here in the Senate, the size of the stimulus package becomes the issue, with some Democrats wanting to add even more to the package and most Republicans saying no, that if the president wants true bipartisan support, all that add-on spending has to go. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Capitol Hill.